Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here and welcome to a cheeky special video where I want to talk to you about Well, have you just had a new Xbox for Christmas or a birthday perhaps? Or have an Xbox but you've just got a lot of Christmas slash birthday or just rich as hell money and really want to get into serious achievement hunting? Now if you're looking at the likes of Stallion, SM Arnov, my buddy Bill Zuminati and way more and think that's where I want to be as quick as or if you're already achievement hunting but somehow have maybe missed some of these easy games with even easier title updates, then look no further as I will explain to you the easiest and cheapest ways possible to get at least 50 to 100,000 gamer score in as short amount of days as possible with around 50 to 100 pounds. Now bear in mind you obviously don't have to grab everything on this list, but if you just want a quick 10k added to your GS, or 20k or more or less, then you've got a lot of option here, and I will break down the price of every game a little later so you know what you're getting into. Now, bearing in mind that yes, you can get a ton of gamer score real quick, but some of these games, even at 5 to 10 minute completions, can be a bit of a drag. So, if you don't mind playing a bit of schnit to get that gamer score up real quick, then all is well. Now, one more thing before we begin, this is going to be mainly with those games that have had easy title updates. As in, they've got the 1000 game score already, but they've added extra achievements for basically fuck all. So if you want more easy games that only have 1000 game score, please check out the likes of Rattalika Games, East Asia Soft, Chili Dog Interactive, and sometimes you. So anyway, let us begin with the real ease and cheese. Dark Grim Moriopolis, Jitalon. Now a lot of these games are going to be Jitalon style games by the way, and we begin with the weirdest game to date. Uh, Dark Grim Moriopolis is an adventure point and click style game, but it's confusing gameplay, coupled with confusing controls does make it seem like a tedious finish. But when you get to grips with the game, you get a hefty, delicious 4000 game score at the end of it. Uh, j on, just on Xbox anyway. It is an easy game, but in terms of what's to come, it is one of the trickiest. So what I would do is save often just in case you make a mistake and you accidentally void another achievement. Even if you don't want to finish the main game, it is super super easy enough to get the 3000 game score and just leave it. This is also a Windows 10 stack, meaning a separate achievement list. Although it's only 1000 uh, game score on PC, the main list is easier than the one on Xbox and should take 10 minutes if you wanted at one, an extra 1000 game score. Bullet Beat now this was actually an enjoyable one, and even better. Uh, it basically gives you a mega 7,000 gamer score if you do it on Xbox and PC in around an hour. Again, separate achievement list. At least this time the buttons and gameplay aren't confusing. You just hold down A and strafe uh, left to right, killing blocks and stuff. Now, the title updates mainly include getting combos up to 3,500, completing an Endless Hell level 10. Again, sounds complicated. But if you go on to Endless Hell mode and get lucky with the first few power-ups, all you have to do is go left to right and it more or less just flows into place, unlocking a nutsack ton of achievements. Either way, Xbox and a Windows 10 stack for 7K, it's just plain nice. Castle of No Escape. Now this is a weird one, but long story short, Jetalon changed the original requirements for the main achievement list for the full 1000 to make it easier, but got told my, by Microsoft basically to change the original list back. Which brings to this weird one, uh, it's kind of like Dark Grim, because you can get 3000 game score on Xbox in less than 10 minutes or so thanks to title updates, but the original list is a bit bitchy to complete. So if you're happy to not worry about your completion percentage, then get yourself another 3000 game score very easy. And again, with the Windows 10 uh, separate achievement list stack, they did keep the reverted easy list from the change, so you should get an easy 3k from the PC version too. All in all, terrible game. Castle of No Escape 2 Now let's cast our mind back to around 10 seconds ago, where I mentioned the first um, Castle of No Escape game and the whole original Chivo list went from hard to easy back to hard again. Well, this son of a donkey's anal gland is decidedly worse than that of its predecessor. For one, mainly you have to complete the game with the three characters which can be annoying due to the randomness of the game, plus more. But thanks to the title update, uh, title update again, you will get at least another easy 3000 gamer score, the normal spiel of open three chests, go into a room, etc. 
And again, just like others on this list, the PC version with separate achievements list, uh, list keeps the reverted easy main one. So if you have another spare £6.69 chilling, that'll be another 6 k guaranteed in your packets. Reactor X. Now, even easier than the others, this one, and just like the previous ones, you can get 4,000 on Xbox and 3,000 on PC for a total of 7,000 gamer score. Uh, the best thing about this is you only need to beat level 30 and the achievements will unlock faster than a big chungus, i.e. me, at an all-you-can-eat buffet. The Explorer of Night. Now, this is the last of the huge mega 4K title updates, uh, 4K game score title updates, that is, and the tough, then easy, then back to tough-ish main achievement list. Now, this is a proper platformer game, and it's rather good. I did enjoy it, but again, like previous games, it had to revert back to the original achievement list, but the 3,000 game score you can get from the title updates is easy as hell. But the rest of the game actually isn't too bad, even if you're not that great at platformers, uh, but if you do, again, get the PC stack, the easy achievement list remains for the main list, so it's another easy 3,000 for you there. And now what I'm going to do is just quickly smash through a couple more Jitalon games with gamer score more than 1,000, but doesn't have mega ridiculous title updates. So let's break it down. If you spend your money on these games and say for assumption's sake you get every achievement in every game, if you buy both the Xbox and PC versions of each game, you'll be looking at a whopping 79,000 gamer score points for a total of £122 in, I would say, just a few short days and maybe even less than that. I mean that is batshiz and crazy, but it would give you a hell of a start to your achievement hunting career. Even if you just go for the Xbox versions of the games, it's still a huge 42,000 game score at around £61, so that'll do quite nicely. Drawnjun, Dungeons of Ink and Paper. Now, finally getting off the Jitalon train, we arrive at Dark Dares Lab Stations with a game that, personally, wasn't for me at all, but they incredibly added two title updates each for 1,000 game score, and both incredibly easy to complete. The main list itself can be a little bit trickier, especially if, like me, you're not that interested in the role-playing, turn-based type game, but to grab achievements for walking 500 steps and opening a few chests, hey, for a new hunter, you just can't beat it. Flasco Man. Now, not quite as mental as Jitalon, but we do have a few easy achievement title update lists from the publisher and developer Flying Islands team, and we start with Flasco Man. A platformer that both the main list and DLC update can be done in around 10 to 20 minutes. And it's not actually that bad a game as far as these easy achievement lists go. Uh, but just like the last bit on Jitalon, here are a few more games with title updates that you can get done in around half an hour or less. 
Enjoy! So then, let us do some more maths. If you grab every game that I've mentioned, bar the Jitalon ones, only from uh, Drawn Gen Dungeons and Ink and Paper down, you will, can grab every game on Xbox and PC, and you will be looking at around, again, this is just an assumption that you've got all the achievements, 19,000 gamer score for £37.71, or if you're just on Xbox, you'll be looking at 16,000 gamer score for just £25.14. Also, there will have been a few title updated DLC in easy games that I may have missed. So for those watching, please let me know if I did miss anything off. And if you've been an achievement hunter for years, you're all legends. Now, let us welcome in the new achievement hunters, the next generation of hunters. But as I said, if you are new or a veteran but may have missed a game or two, I hope this video has helped, especially if you are deadly serious about getting into the achievement hunting world of life. So if you watch this and have a and you've had enough Christmas or birthday money, or are just generally rich enough, can I have some money, please? <laughs> joking, of course. <laughs> hmm, yes, joking. Then you could start your achievement hunting right by getting more or less a hundred thousand pounds. A uh, hundred thousand pounds. I wish a hundred thousand gamer score in, as I said, a few short days, maybe a week, maybe a month. Again, if you're after any more tons of easy games. Like I said at the beginning of the video, the four main hitters you want are Rattalika Games, East Asia Soft, Chili Dog Interactive, and sometimes you. Some are good, some are bad, but you'll always get an easy 1k. So there we go then, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the video, and again, anyone new, welcome. Anyone old, love you. And I'll see you in the next one anyway, guys and gals. Bubba big love.